Hi, David Jennings here from metaformula.com and I'd like to make a video for you today to take you through the quick start tutorial to get you up and running with TradeSim as quickly as possible. So the first thing that you'll obviously need to do is install TradeSim and I've got another video on my YouTube channel that'll get you up to speed on how to do that but you'll know it's successfully installed when you've got the icon on your desktop. Now I'm just going to move this down so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Start, Programs, we'll go to Trade Sim, and I'm just going to open the Quick Start Tutorial PDF document so that way I can cut and paste the code that I need into Metastock. And I'll just scroll down to the appropriate page. You'll be starting off on page 7 and this is the code that we'll be looking at copying over into Metastock. So now that I've got that, let's head over to Metastock and you'll notice if you just saw it for a second there TradeSim detects once Metastock is open and automatically loads itself and it will be sitting waiting in the background ready for the data to be fed over to it. Now what we're looking at doing is following through this quick start tutorial uh, I need to copy this code which is our uh, exploration code and I'll talk you through it just so you understand. Now if you're already familiar with Metastock formula language some of this will look familiar but there are also some other external formulas that have been added in for TradeSim. Now I'll just take you through these parameters at the, stop, at the top here. Firstly the entry trigger is a trigger that will get you into a particular trade. The exit price will dictate the price at which you get out next once your entry trigger has been triggered and then I suppose on the uh, opposite side or conversely the exit trigger is going to be when you get out and the exit price will be at the price that you get out once the exit trigger is signaled. Now the initial stop at the moment we're just going to use no initial stop and that's just while we go through the example here and we'll look at adding that in but just for illustrative purposes I'm going to follow the quick start tutorial as it is. Now the code a little bit further down this is all our trade sim code. Now what I find most useful or easiest is if you use this code here and although we'll be taking the um, MACD exploration as taken from Metastock and a lot of books talk about uh, MACD crossover system and that's what we'll be testing. Even though we'll be testing that system you can take the basis of this code and build on it your own system once you jump into TradeSim and start testing it. So I've copied the code there and I'm just going to head over now to Metastock and we'll open up an explorer. We'll create a new exploration and we'll just call it Trade Sim Quick Start. And I'll just copy and paste that code directly into our column A. Now the reason I put it in column A is because we're not looking to remove any securities once we scan the market. When you put things into the filter tab it will filter out stocks based on certain criteria being met. Whereas when you have it in one of these columns uh, all it is going to do is provide us some information and that information then can get ported over to TradeSim. So now that we've entered that in uh, we just need to select our securities and I'm going to go down to the trading data, ASX. Now this will vary depending on what data you're using, but I'm using my premium data here. And I'm just going to choose the ASX 200. So next, I'm just going to hit OK and we'll come back here. And what I need to do now is I'll just go into options and I just need to ensure that I'm loading a minimum of 500 records. Now the option is automatically set or default set by Metastock to load minimum records but you need to make sure you have it on 500 otherwise TradeSim is going to bounce back some errors for you. So I've selected that and now I'm just going to hit explore. I've already selected what securities we're going to be testing our system on. And now that that exploration has been complete, that information is going to get passed over to TradeSim. So I'm just going to have a look at TradeSim here. 
And you can see we're given a trade database report log and you want to have a look out for any error messages just to make sure that no errors have popped up. So I'm just going to scroll down here. You'll actually see the, the error messages if there are any and it's, it's quite clear and you just need to make sure that any of those errors are addressed. But that looks fine. So I'm going to now click open the trade database and you don't need to rename it. Just leave it the default name there. And now that we're over in Trade Sim here, we get an option to pretty much define what our trade parameters are. We can talk about what size our trading float is. Uh, we can talk about how many positions at any one time we're able to hold open. And we're going to talk about uh, the position sizing model. For this example though, and following along from the quick start tutorial, I'm just going to leave all of these default. The next thing you want to do is hit start simulation. Okay, so trade sims finished up quite quickly. Let's take a closer look now at some of the results. So one of the things I like to keep an eye on is the charts and you can see here our equity curve. So this is how much equity that we had as our trading float and how it's performed by trading this system. Needless to say, the MACD crossover is a pretty average system at the moment. There's a whole lot of different options here and I will dig into those more in more detail, but let's first hop uh, back to Metastock and look at adding in our protective stop as outlined in the quick start tutorial. So we'll go into the Explorer and we'll come back to our Trade Sim Quick Start and I'm going to edit that. Now following along from my notes, we'll set our initial stop. Now the way that we need to do that is we'll just type open and reference just delete that line just confirm that looks all right so that's saying that the initial stop is uh, the open as in today's price and we're looking for today's price minus uh, three times the ATR so we're basically looking at a three tier ATR stop now we also need to add some code into um, the uh, trade sim formula here so I'm just going to write again just taking it straight from Our quick start tutorial. And we'll hit OK. And let's go ahead now and rerun this exploration. Again, following the same steps. Checking the errors and then running our open trade database. We're just going to overwrite that because obviously we had it already open. And I'm going to leave all of those parameters the same as I did before. And we'll do start simulation. Mm -hmm.